What's always fascinated me about the royal wedding between Harry and Meghan was how she basically got all of these people to attend her wedding. You know, particularly the Clooney's. I mean, I know we joked about it and he said on camera that he didn't know them, but you know, we thought, well, it's a day out and you know, it's great publicity. I mean, a bit of truth in that, some might suspect, of course. There were other celebrities like Reese Witherspoon who apparently turned that opportunity down alongside Taylor Swift, people like that. But of course, Meghan didn't know these people, but suddenly she felt she was hit in a higher plane. After all, she was married into the most famous family in the world, marrying a prince, and she wanted everybody who'd ever possibly spurned her to make sure that this was her moment, a defining glorious moment in front of the world's press and the world's media. But one particular individual, this lady, Oprah Winfrey, really did turn quite a few heads. But according to a very well-placed source, Meghan may have used a little bit of skullduggery and persuasion in order to make sure that Oprah gets there. Let me explain. Morning, good to see you. Thank you so much as ever for your time today. Nice to have your company. Well, Oprah, you see, it's, well, we recently spotted her, didn't we, at the bookstore thing, you know, the one where Meghan once again got up and gave a speech. You know, I wish we could find the audio for that because I'm sure, I mean, wouldn't it be quite amusing, to be honest, if it was a soap story again, you know? <laughs> you do kind of think, you do have another story, dear, do you? There must be something else that she could possibly say. But, you know, whenever you see her now with the microphone, she wasn't at all embarrassed, was she, in Colombia? When I was 11, <laughs> oh, not again. But what was fascinating, that was told to me by an ex-member of staff, and there's quite a few, let me tell you, who are very open and willing to speak, if you know who to contact, when to contact, and more importantly, off the record. She is, I would say, one of the bosses that I've met in the celebrity world that is truly quite detested. I know it sounds awful to say that, but you know, nobody really has a pleasant word to say. And that's pretty bad, isn't it, when you think, because in this day and age, one always has to think there must be some redeeming feature. However, moving forward, it was a little bit like this. You see, during the period of the time that Meghan was looking to try and upscale her wedding guest list, you know, the people that she thought were going to be useful, the likes of Bill and Hillary Clinton, perhaps, you know, um, anybody who was in high office, that sort of stuff. And if you remember, uh, sort of raised eyebrows, even from our late and beautiful monarch, Queen Elizabeth, as to, what, she's got no family coming? You know, the cast members of Suits filled pews in the end, if you recall. But according to this source, Oprah Winfrey was very keen to attend, not because she was a chum or even particularly got on that well with Prince Harry. No, the real root of the absolute 100% reason for Oprah Winfrey being there, as ever we have to say allegedly, she wanted to get next to our wonderful monarch. More so than that, apparently Meghan, allegedly again, said she could engineer it, you know, the ultimate picture, that sort of thing. There she was, of course, the Queen of England with the Queen of Daytime TV, American historians of chat. And remember, their idea to do the chat in the garden, etc., had already been discussed long before the wedding. So there was a lot hanging on this happening. Now, apparently, this went on for some time uh, in and around St. George's Chapel, and Oprah Winfrey was desperate to get that all-important picture. But very cleverly, the people around Her Majesty the Queen, and we have to thank these people, they engineered the fact that Her Majesty was never in the picture shot, never in earshot, or anything like that. No opportunity whatsoever for Oprah Winfrey to get that all-important snap. But apparently, according to a source, the reason why Oprah really wanted to get next to the Queen, she wanted to try and persuade her to be the very first person ever to get her on camera to talk about any one of her passions. You know the sort of thing that we saw her do with David Attenborough, but of course she wanted more. She wanted to be the very first big American star interview to get Her Majesty the Queen to talk. Sadly, even Meghan Markle, with all of her twists and plots, couldn't make it happen. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.